Blood, tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. I can see that you're busy with some other matters. We'll see to this later, if you find a moment. Anything else? I wondered if you ever felt lonely. I always do. Why, do you want to rectify this? <laughs> I hope to have kept you good company for all these years. After all, we were always together. And these memories I hold dear. You've always been extraordinary, Greenblood. But I had to watch over you. You were my responsibility. That didn't leave us much time for friendship. What about now? Now? I hope that we'll have more time. Anything else? I must leave you. Desarde, can I do anything for you? You seem to be mad at me for some reason. Do you still resent the fact that I called your ship a boat? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with that. Nobility makes me uncomfortable. I'm sorry if I was rude. <sighs> I can't blame you. Most nobles are tiresome. I hope that I've managed to change this poor first impression of me. You have? I was wrong about you. You are different. I should have realized that sooner. I hope you can forgive my manners. It was foolish of me. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Sir, good people. Thank you. You'll find all. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? So, did they take the bait? Yes, Your Excellency. And I am very happy to see you. One of them came to the shop yesterday. He gave me 24 hours to raise the money required, which means that the entire gang could appear any minute now. Perfect. I'll hide and wait for their arrival. And rest assured, I will not let them go. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Welcome! It's... Have you seen... it?
I hope you have what we're looking for, my good friend. Our man with the silver coin is not known for his patience. Well, I, I moved heaven and earth to collect the sum, but alas, I, I ran out of time. More fool you if you think Egon will be satisfied with your sorry excuses. You know what happens to those who refuse to pay. Leave this man alone at once. You're under arrest. We'll see about that. And who will stop us? We are the guard. You certainly don't deserve such a name. Bunch of cowards. Yield without a fuss, and you'll have the right to a trial. Really? And then it'll be the gallows. Do you think we're pushovers? I'm push you on my blade. And let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this fate! I'm eternally grateful, Your Excellency. You saved my trade. And my life. Stay alert. Their leader was obviously not present. I heard about the man with the silver coin, but this is the first time they told me his name. If they let it escape, it was only because they were thinking of killing you. I beg you, find this Egon and stop him. None of us will be safe as long as he's free. Don't worry. I don't intend to let him go. You'll find all you need in our selection. Whatever you need to be. The we must find this Egon. At the barracks, perhaps. I doubt our man goes openly by that name. It is the silver coin we must look for. So, men, how's it going? Everything's fine, Lieutenant. Nothing to report. All our friends are quiet. Perfectly quiet. As soon as they hear about a silver coin, they start trembling. Good. It would be a shame to have to make another example of them, right? Oh, there's no need, Lieutenant. They've been as sweet as lambs since... Renault's accident. Accidents happen so quickly. I'm waiting for another delivery today. Have you seen your comrades? No, they must have stopped at the tavern on the way. As soon as we see them, we'll send them your way, Lieutenant. I hope those idiots aren't drinking my dew. No one would dare do that to you, Lieutenant. I hope not. Or well, I'll have to remind them that the silver coin can shake everyone. Even the guards. Well, I'll leave you. I have urgent business to attend to. Now, don't forget to send me those drunkards. Farewell, Lieutenant. There is no doubt. Here is our man. Let's follow him discreetly. Who are you? You're following me. Indeed. We would like to talk to you about the silver coin, Egon. It's now or never. Egon? <laughs> you must be mistaken. I don't know anyone by that name. Don't take us for fools. We heard you speak with your men. I don't know what you've heard, but you're wrong. I'm not Egon. Regardless, you were implicated in a murder and in the extortion of merchants. You were therefore under arrest. And we will finish by having you tell us who Egon is and where to find him. Oh yes. We'll see about that. Uh, bit of poison on my blade. Uh, hey, let's go! Uh, to my uh, and death to the others! So, have you finally decided to follow us? So you can torture me. You can do whatever you want. I'll not tell you anything. I don't know who Egon is, 
I'm just a middleman. You're wasting your time. You must know more than you're willing to say. Come on. I'd rather die. Bit of poison on my blade. A silver coin. His symbol of recognition. I have to show it to Manfred. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I conducted my investigation on the extortion organized by certain members of the Guard. I think I've put an end to it, at least temporarily. Unfortunately, I had to kill some of them, as they were about to attack a merchant. But there are still some other soldiers involved that I should tell you about. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will have these men arrested immediately. These foolish brutes not only harm your merchants, but the entire reputation of the Guard. But you said you've only put an end to it temporarily. What makes you think this criminality might resume? Their leader is still on the loose. They call him Egon, although I doubt it's his real name. I got hold of one of his lieutenants. He was carrying a silver coin, which seems to be a symbol of recognition between the gang members. But the man preferred to die rather than tell us anything about his leader. Loyalty? Or terror? Terror, I fear. From the merchants to the guards, everyone seems to tremble in front of this Egon. I don't know any guard of that name. But as you said, it's probably a pseudonym. Here, Your Excellency. Take this. On behalf of the guard, to thank you for settling this case. And rest assured that I will conduct a thorough investigation on my side. I'll also make sure that in future the city guard is made up only of men of trust. Thank you. I will return to see how your investigation is going. I don't take this matter lightly. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Greenblood! Tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. I can see that you're busy with some other matters. We'll see to this later, if you find a moment. Anything else? I must leave you. A bit of poison on my face. And let's go!
Good people, the cure and wine. Cousin, you have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. You don't appear to be in top form. Are house intrigues keeping you from finding proper sleep? No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. We were not able, alas, to stop the clash between the forces of the Alliance and Siora's clan. We arrived at the village and battlefield too late. The Queen fell. I'm extremely sorry for your loss, Princess. Thank you. My sister survived, fortunately, and we are recovering from this tragedy together. But our clan was extremely weakened by this battle and by recent events. We shall keep a close eye on the Bridge Alliance and their undertakings. Rest assured. You should know that the battle took place in the middle of ancient ruins. The ruins were quite strange. We discovered a fresco that I am certain was crafted by continental hands. Really? And how ancient are these ruins? Could they date back to the first landings of the Bridge Alliance? They date much farther back than their arrival would explain. My mother and my grandmother have always known them. Siora told me of a legend that spoke of them. About a people from the sea that were vanquished there. Do you think it was the Norths? It is not our custom to found a landlocked settlement. We have our islands and it is enough for us. If they are ancient, perhaps your people once practiced older customs. This story is troubling, but it reminds me of something that I once read in the reports of Lady Morange. You should go and find her. Perhaps she could tell us more about them. Very well. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. I would still like to present. I can see that you... We'll see to this later. Anything else? I must leave you. Atoy! Can you help me? Bertir to mad on all Menawi. Why are you dressed like this? Hello. I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? Indeed. I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships with other nations. So you'll be able to help me. My chief sent me to trade some items with your village. But there are these bod irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. 
the Ironbacks, the warriors who protect this village. Every time I come, they take my items without giving me anything in exchange. Please, I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adlor radar on all Menawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No, thank you. This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. In that case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. My lords and ladies, here is a new team of fighters taking to our proud arena. Bit of poison. <laughs> <laughs> And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. You saw them win the first challenge with audacity. And here they are again. i 
And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Here for your greatest pleasure, our team of excellence. Once again, they are here to... Been a on my blade. And let's go! Excellent. And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. You've grown to love their faces. You know their tactics. The Appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Could you explain the rules? So, you know, each but once. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Incredible! Who would ever have believed that our excellence would have risen so high so quickly? And now, ladies and lords. Here they are, ready to fight the ultimate challenge. 
champion of the arena. I must say that this is the first time I've ever seen such a young team leader win the title. Allow me to give you this. The prize awarded to champions. Thank you. I need to get going. Huh.
Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant set up shop in our city. Indeed. I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case, here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy. The other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Something terrible happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back, and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please, bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. Oh, it's a great pleasure to see you again at the Forge. What can I do for you? Tear for a day. Oh.
The best forge in tier for D. Blades, armor, locks. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted, and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protégé and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Hello, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a prisoner. A native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there! Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival since apparently he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave you. Ready to excite the crowd. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh. That's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? 
Justice cannot wait. I am ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. What a show! You've won the affections of the crowd. And when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, Onol Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is Desarde. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Ah, on old Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oh, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this on old Menawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought you back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. Desarde, can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Greenblood, tell me, do you remember that you... I would still like to present... I can see that you're busy. We'll see to this later. Anything else? I must leave you. I'm just passing through. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course, Lady de Sardé, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? What do you know about the ruins found to the northwest of here? <laughs> the site that the natives call Didakidnadagais. I had countless questions about the place when our explorers and scouts first brought back sketches. Intrigued, I went there. I noted the architecture and their decorations. 
It is certain that they bear a striking resemblance with continental constructions, but they are more ancient. Too old to have been recently built by the Bridge Alliance settlers when they first set foot on the island. I even questioned the natives, but they only spoke of a people of the sea. My first thoughts went to the noughts, but they're not known for building large towns, less so cities. There are other ruins on a cliff to the east of here. Perhaps they hide the key to this mystery. I hoped to organize an expedition, but the region is dangerous and hard of access. We explored mines at the bottom of the cliff, but we were not able to find an access to the plateau. If the mystery of these ruins intrigues you as much as me, it is in that direction that you should begin to look for answers. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady. Come closer, good people. The cure in Are your boots? Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything? Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbour office every night. So? There's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dita, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. Captain Vasco is very influential among the Nords. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. After such a blow, I may well win a deal in San Mateus but I'm pretty sure I'll lose the one I already have. You will have to find another way to perform your little joke. Sorry. It looks like my plan has fallen apart. I'll have to be discreet. You should dress like a knot, and maybe take a haze potion. Yes, good idea. It would be better if you go there at night. It will be much more discreet. In your usual clothes, you'll not go unnoticed at the port. But it's up to you. I'm ready. We just have to wait for nightfall. All right, it's dark enough. It's time to move. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. 
I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disarty. I was able to recover your file, Vasco. And nobody saw me. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. So, let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit that I had no idea they had given a son to the Norts. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco. But growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Norts care to admit. Greenblood, tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? But of course. Let's... Raina must be with the other recruits in the barracks. I've been asking myself why everyone calls you captain, seeing as you have no ship. But now I'm beginning to understand. I'm happy to have poured some oil in your lantern, sailor.
through is your... Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? a bit of practice. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service. I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene, just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, First Class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the Congregation of Merchants. I'm one of them, and the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D, with two other companies. Anything else, Excellency? What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? That will be all. At ease, soldiers. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something? 
We are here concerning the matter of Recruit Rainer. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn, and they brought him to me. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no. I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain. I cannot allow that. I have, as of yet, to present myself. I'm Lady de Sardé, Legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you and shown more respect. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rainer. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. We'll need to examine the body to learn more. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor. But this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. It's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read. But the word drowning never appears. Oh, what an idiot. I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen. It's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. 
And divorced Tyre. That means, may the earth welcome him. I am sorry for you, Kurt. Thank you, Siora. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rainer didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th. Before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Excellency, I saw you in the palace, if I'm not mistaken. Your Excellency has a good eye and memory. I am one of the officers, in charge of the protection of your cousin's counsellors. How can I help you? We are investigating the death of a young recruit, a certain Rainer. I've never heard the name before. He's not one of my men. I know, but you might at least have heard someone mention him in passing. Did he die at the palace? No. We have no idea where it happened, only where the body was found. So? Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry. That doesn't ring any bells. None at all. I recruited the lad myself, Lieutenant. And just a while ago, I saw his body broken and bruised in the morgue. Someone has been trying to cover this up. To lead us down false trails at every turn. But Rayner deserves justice. I know you have to understand that. I hear you. The murder of one of our own should not go unpunished. But alas, I don't know how I can help you. This is the first I've heard about it. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. She's got a strong bite. Good day, Lieutenant. Milady, you're one of the Governor's confidants, see you not? Indeed. De Sardé, the Governor's legate. My sincere pardon, Excellency. I didn't want to show any disrespect. Captain? Lieutenant? How can I help you? We seek information concerning a young recruit. A certain Rayner. Rayner? Sorry, name isn't familiar to me. He must be with another company. Are you sure about that? This is an important matter. I'm certain, Captain. Was he family to you? I recruited him. You know what that's like. The boy was killed and then tossed in the bay. I want the head of whoever's responsible. I did hear talk of a young lad found in the port waters. That's my sector. But I was told that it was an accident, and I had no reason to doubt it. 
Are you sure the lad was murdered? Absolutely certain. Beaten to death, to be precise. Well, that's horrible. But I don't know anything about it. Too bad. Thank you all the same. Goodbye, Lieutenant. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lady. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tier D. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lady. Excellency. You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago. But at the beginning, we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene. But I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the Guard. To come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, my lady. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? Here. You seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rayner? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and, uh, followed orders. And then, poof, Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the Lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you... He won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Could you tell me which company you serve? The 11th, Excellency. Anything else? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rayner. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know. But this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes, of course. Rayner was indeed a member of my company, and an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. 
One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rayner wasn't the only man to have... disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixth might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixth if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Anything else? Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? What company do you serve? The Sixth Excellency. Anything else? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter, Congregation, directives and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. Come now, Lieutenant. You do realize that the activities of this regiment are particularly suspicious. Secrets, threats, fabrications, and maybe even an assassination. This resembles more the pursuits of a criminal organization than the Honorable Coin Guard. Am I to conclude that you are involved? No. No. I assure you that isn't the case. So then tell me what you know about the regiment. I've seen the regiment. Even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. <sighs> I hope you realize the risk I'm taking, talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike. On a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rayner isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city, where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rayner. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. 
What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me. On all Manawi, my mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigador. I must do everything I can to free her from the Lion's Claws. So will you accompany me? We will do everything we can to free her. Do not worry. Let's go.
De Sade, I am the legate of the merchant congregation. Oh, well, you can come in, Your Excellency. But this savage, on the other hand... Am I the one you call a savage, Renaigse? This young lady is the princess of her people, and she is with me. As such, I would appreciate if you let us through. Very well, Your Excellency. Please go and find the captain. I'd feel better knowing that he gave you his endorsement. Well, who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. Allow me to introduce Siora, the daughter of Queen Bladnid, whom you faced on the battlefield. We understand that you brought her mother here, and I would like to negotiate her liberation. A liberation? That'll prove difficult. She's dead. No! You... You let her die! You may even have finished her off like an agonizing animal! Well, we didn't need to. When we collected her up from the battlefield, she was severely wounded. She died on the way to the camp. I want to see her body, Honol Manawi. Please. I must see her. Can we see her, Captain? If you're the one who's asking, Your Excellency, it should be possible. You're in luck. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we received the order to keep her body. It's still at the infirmary. Ask the doctor. He'll show it to you. Thank you, Captain. Siora. I'm terribly sorry. Let's go see her now. I need to... I'm sorry, pretty flower. I really am. The infirmary must be the building on the right, near the camp entrance. Let's go. 
Who are you? Are you looking for a doctor? I'm the legate of the congregation, and this is Siora, the daughter of the queen whose remains you are keeping. I would like to see her. I need to see her. Please. My condolences, madam. The body of your mother is back there in the room on the left. I should give you some privacy while you are mourning. We won't be far. And if our tear to my tear. Men sit a den on mil frichtemen. I must take her with me on Almanawi. We must perform the rituals. The captain said that he was instructed to keep her body. It will not be easy to convince him to disobey. I do not care about the captain's orders. She is my mother. She must be given back to the earth. So, let's go back to see the captain and try to make him change his mind. You can try, but with all due respect, I doubt that you will succeed. He will not want to draw attention to himself by disobeying this order. What do you mean? I believe he is a traitor, and that he made a deal with Telemi. Those are some serious accusations, even for a member of the Guard. Why would you believe such a thing? I overheard a conversation that got me thinking, and I also saw certain documents. We could use them to pressure him. Did you take them? No, that would be too risky. I do not want to get into trouble. But I suppose they would still be amongst his other belongings. Will they let us rummage through this place without protesting? Most of the Guards returned to Hikmet after the battle was over. If you are discreet, you should be able to enter the officer's building. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Shouldn't you ask the Captain first? Maybe he'll change his mind. You're right. Let's try talking to him before rummaging through the camp. Your Excellency, what do you want? We would like to retrieve the remains of the Queen. Bring her back to her people and her family. That will not be possible, Your Excellency. As I told you, the Governor specifically asked us to keep her. He wants her delivered to one of his scholars who wanted to study her. You have lost a lot of men in this battle. How would you feel if someone prevented you from giving them a proper burial? If you knew that their corpses were going to be given to some scholars to be dissected, wouldn't you want to have them back? You have a way with words, Your Excellency. Yes, I would like to give them a proper grave. Take her with you. I'll find an excuse to give the Governor's men when they come. Thank you, Captain. There. We managed to convince him in the end. We'll be able to bring the body of your mother back to your village. Then let's go. I am eager to reunite with Isild and... I know Siora. And Tirse. Some men delivered her remains here. They said that it was thanks to you. And the Renaigze legend. Thank you. We will be able to pay homage to our mother. Why are there mind shakers here, Aselt? I meant to tell you about it. They came saying that our mother had made an agreement with Teleme. But Mater did not tell me about it. She didn't say anything to me either. I do not like this, Iseld. These people want to drive us away from the land. I know. But we need help after the defeat. 
And they say that she made a promise set in stone. The spirits of the people of our village would have to go to the light, and in exchange, they'd help us against the lions. This is impossible. Mater would never have done such a thing. They are lying, I'm certain of it. They may be. But if there really is a promise set in stone, we cannot break it. And we will have to bury our mother according to their rituals. We must verify it. I will not stand there while these mind shakers take our village. Do you see? If you want to trade again, you know where to find me. Sir, good people. They kill and wine from the continent. What armor that fits you like a glove? We'll make it for you. 